Hey guys, it's Mr. Schmidt here, and in this video, we're going to start a new unit on this idea of elasticity. And so, we're going to spend several videos looking at the price elasticity of demand, or PED, and then we'll spend a few videos looking at some other types of elasticity. So if you remember, uh, back in Unit 2, we talked about this idea of the law of demand, right? And so if you remember, the law of demand says that if we increase the price of a good, the quantity demanded, how much we're willing and able to buy at a specific price, falls. And so what elasticity looks at, or the price elasticity of demand to be specific, looks at by how much does the quantity demand fall. For example, if the price of a good increases by 20%, does the quantity demand fall by... 20% exactly? Does it fall by 50%? Does it fall by 5%? So that's what the elasticity of demand looks at is how sensitive are consumers to a price change, right? A lot of you know that I love Apple products, right? If Apple raised the price of the iPhone, I would still buy it, right? But some consumers may not. Some consumers may be more sensitive to the price of an iPhone than I am, right? And that's what we mean here. So let's go ahead and define this idea of the price elasticity of demand. So the word elasticity means how um, the responsiveness, I should say, of one variable changing uh, in response to another variable, right? So if variable X changes, by how much does vari variable Y change in response? So in this case, with the price elasticity of demand, or PED, which is how we're going to refer to it moving forward, this is how much, which we really measure this in terms of percent change, does quantity demand change when price changes? Right? So that's what the price elasticity of demand does. Okay? So basically, <clears throat> excuse me, what we're looking at here is when the price changes, are consumers going to respond in a really big way? Are they going to respond in a small way? Are they going to respond in proportion? What does that mean? So let's let's put some vocabulary into this. So for example, if so let's say if the price increases and quantity demanded decreases by the same percent, by the same percent. So for example, if the price were to increase by 20% and quantity demanded decrease by the exact same percentage, this is called unit elastic demand, okay? So consumers are responding um, I mean, think about like a ping pong ball going back and forth across the ping pong table, right? And this, it's just the same. It's going back and forth, back and forth, it, it, a, a proportional response, right? So if, you know what, if the price of something goes up 20%, I buy 20% less. And, I just, and so that's the idea of unit elastic, okay? Now, there are two other cases that we're going to look at in this video. So let's say if the price increases by 20%, and quantity demanded decreased by more than 20%. So consumers are really turned off by this price increase. They're like, we're out, we're done. This price increase is insane. I don't want to buy it. I'm out. This is called elastic demand, okay? And so if you think about the elasticity of something like a rubber band, this is basically saying, you know, if we're stretching that rubber band, we're making the ends of it go further and further and further out. It's a really strong reaction. And that's what we're getting here, that consumers are saying, you know what, I don't want to buy it, right? As an example, you know, if you went um, and, to a movie, right? We don't uh, go to a movie. You go to a movie and uh, the ticket price, let's say it jumps by 20%. I mean, you're going to be like, you're probably going to be like, I'm out. I don't want to, I don't want to pay, you know, five, ten, twenty dollars more for a movie. I'm not going to go to the, see the movie. That's elastic demand, right? And if you're, and if you're wondering, well, how do we tell if something 
has is going to have elastic demand or unit elastic demand or the other kind of elasticity of demand we'll talk about in a second. Um, we'll talk about that in, in other videos. For now, it's just the idea that unit elastic is a proportional response by consumers to a price change. Elastic is a out of proportion response to price change. It's over the top, right? It's a huge reaction. And it would work the opposite way too, that if something went on sale and fell by 20%, consumers are rushing to go get it. They're like, oh my gosh, I gotta go get this. What a deal, what a steal. And so there's a huge reaction to that price change. And then finally, if, so let, again, let's say if price increased by 20% and quantity demanded decreased by less than 20%, then this would be what we would call inelastic demand. And so basically, this is the idea of someone really not being that sensitive to a price change, right? So again, like me and, me and an iPhone is a perfect example that if that if Apple raises the price of an iPhone, I'm still going to buy the iPhone, right? Um, whereas some consumers may not. They may have more elastic demand, right? Or consider a necessity like food, right? If if Walmart raises the price of, of food items that you buy, you're probably going to still buy, you know, roughly the same amount, right? Or you're, or you're definitely not going to reduce your uh, purchases by more than the price change, right? Because you need food, right? It's a necessity. So elasticity is definitely one of those topics that uh, students really do struggle with. And so what I want you to understand from this video is that elasticity is the sensitivity. And in this case, with price elasticity of demand, it's the consumer's response. How much are they gonna change their behavior to what degree after there's a price change? Are they going to respond directly in proportion, unit elastic? Are they going to really freak out and buy a lot more or a lot less elastic? Or are they gonna barely change their behavior in elastic demand, right? So that's the idea of elasticity. How sensitive are consumers to a price change? That's what we mean by the price elasticity of demand. So that's all for this video on the introduction to price elasticity of demand. Until next time, have a great day.